55,000 refugees find themselves cramped in Yida camp, which was initially intended to host 15,000 people. Every day new families arrive, tired and weakened by their journey to escape Sudan. Despite the increasing aid, the situation in the camp is a major humanitarian disaster. According to a survey by MSF, since June at least five children are dying every day. The adult mortality rate is alarming too, with two deaths per 10,000 people per day a figure well above the emergency threshold. I don't want to go home, but I'm frightened. A lot of people are dying. I'm afraid that maybe me or someone in my family will die. I've already seen my niece and my cousin die in Sudan. Most of the people living in the camp do not have access to latrines, and water and food distribution needs to be urgently scaled up. Such living conditions further weaken the already tired refugees. Medical teams have witnessed the deaths of many children from diarrhea or severe infection as a result of malnutrition. I came to the hospital because my child had diarrhea and his body was bloated. A mortality rate that would be reasonable um, in a context like this with um, mostly malnourished children. You look at a project like that, you would expect a mortality rate under 10% um, for an inpatient department like this. Um, our mortality rate in the past few weeks has reached as high as 24%, which is frightening and um, a very difficult figure. In Maban County, more refugees from another state in Sudan have fled their homes for the same reasons. Conflict and food insecurity have driven over 100,000 people into three camps in this area. Here too, they are entirely dependent on humanitarian aid. Living conditions in Batil camp have had a devastating effect on the refugees' health. One in three children is severely malnourished, a figure way above the emergency threshold. Uh, most of this population has been traveling for months and they've not had access to quality food. So they've lost quite a bit of weight, which puts them at risk for life-threatening illnesses, uh, infections, and they just can't cope without proper care. So our challenge a lot of times is it's very end-stage malnutrition, intensive care, and we're in a tent, so there's only so much we can do. MSF has been the main medical aid provider in the camps in South Sudan since last November. Teams are running several hospitals and therapeutic feeding programs in the camps and are making sure all new arrivals are vaccinated against measles. MSF has significantly scaled up its response since the beginning of the crisis. However, conditions remain dire and more resources are needed.